YouTube frogs. Hey, how's it going? It's time. You guys know I'm not here for the video for Yai Miko's guy because it's already out. Don't forget to check it out if you haven't already. In fact, you guys saw my poll video. You know exactly how this went. Going for C6. It is now finally time to do the Constellation Ascension like I did with Raiden Shogun's video. But we are also going to maximize Yai to level 90 as well as her weapon, Kagura's Verity. All five refinements. That is the nature of this video. We'll be doing it in two forms. But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that starting February 22nd, you can use my code SLICE at advanced.gg for 30% off your order until February 25th. Advanced GG is the only clinically proven gaming supplement shown to improve performance. I continue to represent Advanced GG because their products are completely open label, meaning they don't hide behind things like proprietary blends. You know exactly what is in it and can research more about specific ingredients completely transparently. Providing four to six hours of energy, Advanced GG is completely sugar-free, provides a daily dose of vitamin B and C, and one serving scoop is equivalent to a cup of coffee's worth of caffeine. Check out Advanced GG using the link below and use code SLICE, X-L-I-C-E, at checkout for 30% off your order until February 25th. Back to the video. So at C0, I'll be showcasing her raw damage without any buffs. And then I'll be showcasing her damage if it were to be buffed by a new composition, because it's essentially what we're trying to showcase here. If I'm going to be C6 R5ing this character, then I'm going to be adding Bennett, C6 Sara, and Kazuha to see how high the damage we can push for her elemental skill totem, because that is mostly what her constellations do. If you guys want to check us out on Twitch, link will be in the description. Without further ado, let's begin. You guys know that my Yai Miko is level 80 out of 80. I am actually for these particular tests, I'm going to be using Thunder Soother for peace. However, for C6 specifically, when we're maximizing damage, I'm actually going to be switching this to a two Gladiator and two Shimanawa for the maximum attack percent. Why? Because Kagura's Verity at R5 is going to be giving me an extreme amount of additional damage bonus, which is calculated in the same column as Elemental. This Elemental skill damage will be 24% at R5. Max three stacks will give me 72. And then this will also be 24% all elemental damage bonus. So it'll be 96% from the weapon itself. This makes my build lack attack percent, which it already is with this Thunder Soother build, okay? But for the sake of consistency, we're going to start with 4th Thunder Soother from C0 and climb our way up so you guys can see the damage increase and how accurate my video was. C1 is not really noticeable for damage, but it's more for her burst rotation. So we're going to be testing C0, C2, which is level two to level four, right? So that's her totems increasing mass level from level three to level four. I said in my video, this was a 25% damage increase and it should be because of the multipliers. C3 plus three levels and then C6. So it'll be C2, C3 and C6. C4 is not gonna be that much noticeable. It's gonna be like a 10% damage increase. So we're gonna go from C3 all the way to C6 afterwards. That is the design of this video. Go. C0, R1, Yai Miko. You guys already know her damage output here, right? Hey, how you doing? It's really simple. It's a solid 7k. If it crits. Nothing special there, chat. YouTube frogs. You guys will be noticing in this video, I won't be testing out burst damage. You know why? Like, only one constellation benefits her burst damage directly, and it's C5. It's just a plus three levels. So we're just going to be doing totem damage. It's going to be really simple for Yai, because that means she doesn't need her burst up. As long as I have four noblesse, that's fine. I don't really need another artifact for her right now. Still has good stats. Her weapon attack transfer is going to be 705 by 82%. And then this is going to be 20% attack with a little bit of EM as well. And then Bennett is going to be a kill of Havonia for maximum attack boost with level 11 talent. Kazo is 1050 EM. Okay. Okay. That's our setup. Thirty thousand. Wow, it increased quite a bit, chat. We went from 7k to 30k buff. 7k to 30k buff. 
So that's a combination of Kazuwa's Elemental Transfer. It's a combination of C6 Sara's, not only her attack bonus and Elegy for the end, but also Constellation 6 with 60% crit damage increase, as well as Bennett's attack buff. And we have Four Noblesse as well on Sara. All right, YouTube Frogs. You guys just saw the baseline C0 level 80 R1 weapon, what it looks like unbuffed versus buffed. You saw a massive difference. 7K base and then 30,000 with absolutely all buffs active. It is a 1,050 Elemental Mastery Kazuha, C6 Sara, as Yai taps my head, and a level 11 talent with Aquila Favonia Bennett. Now, can't go back anymore, boys. C2. All right, so we are Constellation 2 now. We are going to be hitting this value for her Seisho Sakuras now. 165% with all three connected. A goal. Okay, they're all very shiny now. I'm doing 8,700 damage. That is about 25%, right? 8,700? Over 7k? It's 1,700 over, uh, over 7k. 20% would be 1,400. 25% would be 1,750. Yeah, it's about exactly. It's, it's exactly a 25% increase. Cool. I was accurate then. Pog. You guys just want to see the buff damage. I know I wasn't going to do it, but I think you guys want to see buff damage every single time because you guys just want big numbers. So boys, we just saw 7K to 8.7K. That is roughly 24% increase. Now I'm going to just see if it goes from 30K to 37.5 is what, what, what would be expected because it's multiplier based. Dude. Thirty-seven point two, close enough. Okay, thirty-seven point two was the maximum amount. Then we started to lose buffs a little bit, but that's about right. And the reason why the buffs do not affect or diminish the amount of damage increase is because Constellation Two is a multiplier increase. A multiplier increase is not affected by changes to attack, crit damage, or additional damage bonus. It only reflects based off of the multiplier ratio, which is between four and three. Hi, uh, YouTube Rocks. You guys saw a direct increase of about 23 to 24% from Constellation 0 to Constellation 2, which is the damage one. C1 is the energy one, where her energy cost for her burst is 66 if you have three totems up. Now it is time. Where's my where's my sound? I didn't get I didn't get any sound for that. Okay. Well, I just activated it. We are level nine talent now. If you guys remember that our totem level four for level six was 165%. At level nine, it is 201.5%. The ratio gain of this is 21%. So it should be a 21% exact damage gain. Let's go, 200%. All right, here we go, chat. It's Constellation three. Right here, right now, emerge. Right here, right now, emerge. 10.5K. 10.5K raw increase. Okay, you went down, goodbye. Leaving you. The chat, from C0 to C3, how much gain are we getting? 50%, right? We started with 7K and now we're at 10.5K. So C0 to C3 is technically a 50% increase. So that means with full support, we should be doing 45,000 per totem. Yeah. So here, chat, at C3 at level 80, we should be doing 45,000 per totem. Right 43? Seems about right. Did I miss a buff there? I don't think I did, but I might have missed one. But 43 is still pretty close to accurate. Hey, you two frogs. You guys just saw the damage increase from C0 to C2 to C3. We saw on average 25 to 20%. So it's about a 45%, 50% increase there. YouTube frogs and Twitch frogs are now witnessing an irreversible change. I can no longer go back. D6.
Not only do we have the 60% ignore defense, but we also have 20% electro damage whenever her totem hits anything. So this combination should further increase her totem output. So now she is a C6R1 Yai Miko. Still at level 80. After we do this buff test, we will finally maximize her, getting her level to 90, as well as getting her weapon to R5. All right, boys. 10,500 with C3. 7,000 with C0. 16,582. It's about right. So C0 to C6 is over a 110% damage increase. Now with maximized buffs. What will we get? C6, R1, level 80, level 9 talents with maximum electro based buff. Sixty-six thousand six hundred eighty-one. That is accurate. Oh god! Don't die! 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 All right. You do frogs. Unbuff. We went from seven k to sixteen k. Buff. We went from thirty k to sixty-six point seven. All right. You guys want to see a quick test at level ninety? We don't need to do buffing for this one. Level 90 is just a slight base stat increase. She gets crit rate from it, so it doesn't actually increase her damage by too much. So her crit rate is going to be 79.3, 284 for my specific one. Once we do this, we cannot go back. Where's my sound? I'm going to mold. Oh, that's a lot of wasted XP. There we go. All right, boys. It is done. She is now level 90. With 84 to 26, my artifact is giving me 60, 115. All right, let's quickly check out her raw damage increase. It should be fairly minimal. We did 16,681 before. We should be doing probably about 7% more. So maybe 17.7. That's what I'm going to guess. 17.5. Close enough. You do frogs, it is time. It is time to max out, take her all the way to C6R5 level 90. It is time. There's no going back. 372 of my crystals consumed. Refinement all the way. Full whale mode, boys. There it is. C6, R5. And now my Yai stats. She is 1700 attack with an increase. 84, 231 with a little bit of extra crit damage. And she has 24% all elemental damage bonus. So my current electro damage bonus is 90.6. All right, shall we see raw damage, boys? Let's see raw damage. Raw damage, no buff. Okay, three stacks. 22,500. Really nice. They get hit a little bit. So, we went from 7k to 16.7k. Then we leveled 90, increased to 17.5k. And then we took the weapon to level 90 as well, providing additional 7%. And then adding refinements in, we gave it another 5,000 damage on top of that. That is my zero buff damage now buffing turned it from 7 to 30k that was a 4x increase so will this hit 90k per tick i don't think the geo bishop is going to survive this i will try to tp away but i think it might die in the process here we go Eighty-eight thousand one hundred fifty. You guys saw it. Don't die! Please don't die. I needed to get out of. I need to get out of the way because it's gonna die. 
Now, what I think is really important, you guys may be thinking, okay, it's done. The video is done. No. Y'all have the R5 Witsith, right? With these buffs and a random Witsith buff, how much can my E do? How much value is this weapon really when it comes down to it? Because I just love the character. I think she's I think she's beautiful. Great smug personality. What if I use the Witsith? Obviously. This is not level 90, so I'm losing a little bit of innate power because I don't have it maxed out completely. But, still good to see. Here's what we're going to pray for, all right? Chat, I need you guys to pray that I get elemental damage bonus here. This provides the highest amount of damage output for my totems because I am max buffed, right? I have immense amount of attack from Bennett. I also have attack from Kujo Sara. I have immense amount of crit damage from Sara as well. This is the best buff to get. If it gets attacked, it should be close, but yeah. Okay, here we go. What are, which buff are we getting? It was Elemental Mastery. <laughs> That's EM. 72,000. Not bad. 72k boys that was with the weakest buff i mean you can't you can't say that's bad at all also as a reminder to the youtube procs uh these are just level six talents so when we start getting actual level up materials here and if you send this to level nine uh you would see further another 20 percent damage increase so yeah this this is on this is the base investment at all if we get another buff let's just let's just see how close it gets with, with level 80. rage let us get a decent buff and see how close it is to r5 verity why am i adding Kozol for the extra 200 em we'll do that at the final when i add food right now, right here. oh no stop 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 don't push me out i got attack percent okay, it's like 73k i think 73k is still slightly accurate i may have missed a buff or two but yeah all right here we go again Please. Please give me elemental damage bonus so I can finish this part of the video. Right elemental right damage, now. please. Oh, I did. 77.8. Hey, not bad. I got it. All right, so 77.8 times 1.07 if it was level 90. So if I had R5 Witsith level 90, it would have done 83,000 damage, which is only like 5% under R5 Verity. What do you guys think? 20 second downtime? I mean, it's a four star weapon compared to a R5 five star. Uh, obviously it is RNG based, but you know. All right, shall we food buff and Kazuha ult? With four Thunder Soother to maximize this further. We don't need any more attack percent because I'm getting Sara and Bennett's attack buff. And we're going to be using, using attack food. All right, YouTube frogs. This is the final one against the Geovishat. We will bully him no longer after this run. This is C6R5 level 90. Kazuha burst for the extra 200 elemental mastery. Udu Sara buff, Bennett buff, and Udu potion. Adeptus Temptation for 372 attack, as well as Shocking Essential Oil. We are buffed. Our current stats. 96 to 16. 71.6 Electro Damage Bonus. Let's change that really quick. R5 Verity. 2.1k attack. Here we go. No RNG. R5 Kagura's Verity. Right here, right now, right here. All the means. Dorn my knights. Stand back. No turning back. 110,000 damage. Dead. Edge. And that is what remains of the Geo Bishop. That is C6 R5 full buff. Let's see this on the mechanical array. What are these cards, bro? Right 
to the Shogun. Bruh. Nothing left Whatever. forever. Right now, emerge. Chat, the totems already just kill it. Can you not TP though? Match. Give me my totem damage. Stop! Oh my god, dude. There you go. I just AFK. <laughs> 89,000. Which one is it? Oh, it's that one. Emerge right now. Where are these shooting, bro? <laughs> I have done zero damage to it. Time to go. Emerge. Right here. Where are you? What? Wait. Huh? Where? Where are they? Where are they going? <laughs> All right. Well. Ah, right, YouTube frogs. You guys just saw me having fun a little bit. We have maxed out Yaimiko today. It is done. She is C6, R5, completely done. You guys saw the transformation from her damage from the low end of just a mere 7,000 damage at C0 with no buffs, all the way to a whopping 109,000 damage with full buffs and food. You guys also saw a little bit of the Witsith appear in the middle to show you guys what it would look like when the Witsith is active 33% of the time with a certain buff. The totems still do quite a massive amount of damage, right? You do frogs. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Personally, this C yeah, this Constellation Ascension video for Yai and Miko. I bid the luck if you guys are still pulling. Again, if you guys want to check out the Twitch side of things, my frogs are literally there saying join us. Until the next video, thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Oh yeah, and sub to the YouTube channel, and like the video. Smiley face. All right, bye.